my Amazon account is gone. Mm. I breathe. Today has been the worst day in reselling ever. I had an email off Amazon to say my account has been suspended. So at first I thought it was some, you know, some issue like, I don't know, they thought I was selling like counterfeit items or something had gone on. Oh. But no, it's nothing like that. I wish this was clickbait and it was one of the, I've seen so many of them, one of them videos that are like, oh my account got deactivated and then this is how I got it back. I haven't got it back. I don't think I'm getting it back. In fact, I'm like 99.9999% sure, but that's it. My Amazon account is gone. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's not even funny, right. Mm. I just got out of the shower. That's why I look like this. I don't know what to do. It's all over. What happens, I don't know what happens to all my items that are there. I just sent another box. So I have items in the Amazon warehouse. My um, balance has been taken, I guess. Um, what happens to the money that I made? What happens to my items? sending books up to Amazon like I was really enjoying it and now it's finished and it's not even my doing okay I'm gonna read to you what I got let me read it to you in fact can we turn you around hello seller your Amazon seller account has been deactivated your listings have been removed funds will not be transferred to you but will be held in an account while we work with you to address this issue why is this happening? We found that your account is related to another account that may not be used to sell on the site. Due to the nature of our business, we do not provide details on our investigation methods. So they gave me the option to appeal it. So I appealed and they give you like three questions to answer. But I don't know what it's even on about, right? This is my one and only Amazon account. I live alone, so nobody in my house has an Amazon seller account. I don't, nobody uses my computer, so no one else has logged into my computer like with their Amazon account. I, don't, I just don't even know what to say about the situation. And then I was trying to like rack my brain thinking like what the hell has gone on? And I, I used to sell on Amazon like 10 years ago, but things were so different then. It wasn't like now. I can't remember how it was, but it wasn't like now where you had to, like you didn't have to pay to have like a seller account or anything like that. I'm just trying to remember. I can't, this is the only account I've had. So I must have sold, because like then, they used to just show you on the Amazon listing, underneath, it was like eBay, underneath it was like sell it yourself. It was like that. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think, like what happened? When I was, I used, I did used to sell, so you didn't have to, you didn't have to like shut it down. I didn't get kicked off. I didn't get banned or anything. I was trying to think like, did something happen? And it really didn't. I've only had this one account. This, it's so annoying that they even say that, where is it, due to the nature of our business, we do not provide details of our investigation methods. So how can I dispute something when I don't know what I'm disputing? I don't know. Did something happen 10 years ago with my account? But it's just so strange because I would know, would I? 10 years ago, if something happened, I would know. And it wasn't like I was selling loads on there. I didn't sell much on there at all. I was, I've always been mainly eBay anyway. I don't know. 
I don't know. There's no way of me knowing because they won't tell you. So, I can't... Well, I've done the appeal, but I don't even know what I'm disputing. So that's that. And then, oh, I've just had the most annoying customer on eBay that I've ever had. And it had to be the same day, didn't it? It had to be today. It had to be right now. This woman, this woman. Oh, just a horrible woman. Just being horrible. For no reason. She bought um, this big bundle off me. It was like 35 items, but she bought that and something else. And she asked me if I could combine the postage, which I said, yeah, I wish I hadn't because it ended up actually costing more to send both the things together. Even if I did them separately, because there was no way of sending them both cheaper because the items were really, really heavy and they were in a really, really big box. But anyway, I already said that I would combine shipping, so I did. And I refunded her for the shipping of um, the other item that she bought and I put them all together and sent it all or took it ages wrapping it up and it making it all nice and did it all and I knew there was gonna be issues I just knew I, you know you just have a feeling you just know there's gonna be issues when she's already like angry about this postage issue because she'd asked me if I could combine I said yeah but then she already paid for the items so I didn't like combine them and then send her an invoice she'd already paid so automatically she gets charged how much it's on eBay for I refunded her the postage, but even then she wasn't happy and there was issues and I was trying to explain to her that I haven't like tried stealing this postage money off her. Anyway, so I, I should have known then. I should have just known. I really should. And I sent her it. She got it early because I sent it on the day. She got it early and she messaged me. The dreaded message. Aggressive! So aggressive for no reason. I'm being all nice. Being all nice and polite. And she's like, I videoed myself opening this box and there is like five items not in here. And I'm just like, why have you videoed yourself opening it? That already tells me, like, why do you get your camera out and video yourself opening every box that you buy? Uh, and before I could even reply, she opened, um, she requested a refund on PayPal for the whole amount. And it came to like, I don't know, it was like 50 or 60 pounds altogether. And she's requested a refund. I was like, whoa, what? Before, like I've just got the message and then just got another message. She's requested a refund. I was like, no. So, um, I messaged her back, being all polite. And, oh, it's just multiple messages off her. I've informed PayPal. These items better be at my house. You have till the end of the day <laughs> to get them here. And I'm like, oh my God. So I've just lost my Amazon account. And all the items that are there, I don't know, I guess, I guess Amazon just get to keep them now and sell them themselves, I guess. And then I get this woman. Oh, and because she's, op she's now opened a PayPal case saying that it's item not as described, and she's taken photos, screenshots, of the photos that I put on to eBay and circled items and said, this isn't here and this isn't here and you are scamming me. Oh, and then, but then she, I think she's messed up though because in the last message she sent me, well, in the end I just got annoyed and I just said, right, um, if you want a refund, then just return my items and I'll give you a refund. You know, <laughs> Can't say anything, can't say any more than that. I'm not giving her a partial refund. She's already had a refund on the postage, which I shouldn't have given anyway. Because it's like, I, didn't, I didn't have to give her it. There was not, I didn't have to. I just did it just to be nice. When I shouldn't have done it anyway, because it wasn't any cheaper for me. I took so much time wrapping all this stuff. Like I really put a lot of effort in to make sure it all got there really like, perfectly. And she's just being a... Oh. But yeah, and the last message she sent was about um, you have till the end of the day to get these missing items to my house. How I'm going to do that, I don't know. How she thinks I'm going to... Well, obviously she doesn't because she has the items. Uh, you have till the end of the day to get these items to my house. 
and then she put, oh, I'll play the game. I'll play the game till tonight. And I was like, what does that mean? Play the game. So I just replied saying, I play the game in speech, speech marks. Um, that pretty much says it all. You know, you're playing the game. Yeah, playing the game. Trying to get items for free. Try to get a partial refund. Or try, in fact, try to get a full refund. Not even a partial. For all these items. And I got, yeah. It's really, she, I don't know why she's opened a PayPal case and not on eBay. I suppose because eBay would just be like, well, tracking shows it's delivered, you signed for it, you've got it. I don't know how it works. If she's saying that some items aren't there, like, is it just one of them, eBay or PayPal, they're just going to side with her? Surely not. Please tell me, surely not. <laughs> they can't. Because <laughs> then that's just another, like, 50, 60 pounds worth of items gone. Just some horrible woman. And she's still messaging me now. I've told her on the last message that I'm not replying to like aggressive messages at all. Um, so I'm not reading them now. I've said, you know, if you want a refund, that's fine. And return the items and I'll give you a refund. And I've escalated the PayPal case to PayPal to review now. Because I, I'm not going back and forth with this crazy woman. I'm just not doing it. Not today. I was so angry. Honestly, I was just really disheartened today you know when you put so much work and effort into something and then on the same day you get boom your amazon account taken i can't believe it i don't think there's anything i can do about it i really don't ah well that's that and this woman on eBay, if she wins, if she wins this case, this PayPal case, I just don't want to sell on eBay anymore if this happens because it's not fair, it's not right. 50, 60 pounds worth of items, loads of items. I took so much time and effort to get them to a save. And if she can just turn around, blatantly lie, just so blatantly lie. I, here's a video of me opening the box. I haven't watched it because I'm that angry, like... I don't even want to watch it. I can't. I can't look at this video that she's created. Why would you set up a camera and video yourself opening a box? There's only one reason why you would do that. And that's if you've been like really badly scammed on eBay before, and you just I don't know. Do they take that as evidence? Well, in this case, they can't because all the items are there. <laughs> it just makes you want to not sell anymore but now all, ebay's like all i have ebay facebook i'm gonna try gumtree i think i've never tried it before but it's just been one of them horrible horrible days so if anyone has any advice that they can give me about this amazon business I know there's probably nothing I can do. I think that's it now finished. I'm just so thankful that I don't I don't have thousands and thousands of pounds worth of items there. I don't I know I don't even have a thousand, no. I don't I only sent I've only got three boxes up there at the minute. It's not that it's not that much I'm gonna lose. It's still I'm gonna lose it, but it's not that much. I mean, my god, some people have thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. At the Amazon warehouse right now, and like they can just turn around like that and take your account away with no explanation. They don't even have to give you an explanation. It is crazy. But yeah, if you have any advice for me about this or this horrible PayPal woman, then um, leave it in the comments, please. I feel like I have no motivation left. For this reselling anymore. I suppose every day can't be a good day. So sorry for this depressing video. But this is it. It's like the highs and lows of selling online. Some days just suck like this. My phone's beeping again. I bet it's that woman. That eBay woman. I'm not even reading her messages anymore, I can't because it just makes me that annoyed. <laughs> Maybe this is the problem. Maybe I just take it too hard to heart too much. When people are just so horrible like that. Just so just so mean. She's clearly just 
you know, trying to get this money back, but I guess it works. I guess it works. I guess they can just say, like, no, even though there's tracking and even though everything, no, sorry, I want a refund. And then they just get it. Well, she hasn't got it, but I honestly think that she's going to end up getting one. Who knows? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it won't be as hopefully it won't be as depressing as this one.